Ray 501, I'm in Santa No Fray Safety, called SOS. This is an alert because they're going to have the NRC public meeting regarding the Santa No Fray nuclear power plant restart plan, and it will be held in Capistrano Beach, 2-12-2013. This was posted by Donna Gilmore. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC, will meet with the public on Friday 12th to discuss the status of its review of Southern California Edison's proposed plan to restart San Onofre Reactor Unit 2 without fixing it first. The NRC expects to make a decision in April or May 2013 on whether to allow San Onofre Unit 2 Reactor to restart. Now, I have a question. Nuclear Regulatory Commission means and was implemented to keep the public safe and keep the nuclear industry safe. Now, if they have to wait until April or May to make a decision that is obvious to a child then I don't think they really have our best interest at heart. Now do they? Like you guys already knew that, I'm sorry. Both Unit 2 and 3 reactors have the most effective replacement steam generators in the United States history. Edison's flawed redesign of these critical steam generators resulted in decades of wear in less than two years and a radiation leak in less than one year of operation. Now, Edison wants to restart the Unit 2 reactor without repairing or replacing the defective and worn steam generators. See the handout. I'll leave a link so you can come in and read this. Please attend this NRC meeting and share this information with others. The date will be Tuesday, February 12, 2013, 6 to 9 p.m., located at Capistrano Beach Church, 25975 Domingo Avenue, Capistrano Beach, California, 92624. So this is an alert for anyone living in Southern California, Los Angeles County, Riverside County, San Diego County, Orange County. This will affect all of us, 1.8 million people. We have not had not one blackout, no brownouts, no rolling outs, no not a zip, nothing. And we have the hottest summer that we have ever had in Huntington Beach. And they, they fired up that dinosaur that was ready to be commissioned, and everything is fine. So far, since it's been shut down, we have been fine with all alternative energy. So what does it matter? We're already footing the bill for this place, even though it's shut down. There is no reason to restart this, none at all, other than the fact that they're going to lose a lot of money. But you know what? We're already paying for it. This is a Category 3 meeting. Meetings of the public will be able to ask questions and provide comments concerning the inspection and technical evaluation activities throughout the meeting. The NRC staff will discuss the status of its inspection and technical evaluation of Southern California's Edison's October 3, 2012 response for Unit 2 to the March 27, 2012 NRC confirmatory action letter. The NRC will, will respond to questions about their current inspection and bullshit evaluation activities associated with the replacement steam generators at San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. Some of the NRC participants will be a HAL team manager, songs, Region 4, R. Lance, Chief, Songs Project Branch, G. Werner, Inspection and Assessment Lead, D. Brodus, Chief, Songs Project Branch, D. Dorman, Songs Oversight Panel and Co-Chairman. There's other information here if you would like to um, 
be available for the public webcast video stream. This is one hour prior to the start of the meeting. Teleconference, listen to the meeting, um, call via following the toll-free number, and webcast phone bridge will be one way only. Meeting contact is Ryan Lance, Chief Songs Project Branch. And interestingly enough, I did not see but one, just one, in the headlines today on top of my next video regarding uh, Senator Boxer, her outing Mitsubishi. Um, but that was it. I, I have not seen anything regarding this meeting, so please reload this, remix it, do whatever you want to do, but we need to get the word out and people need to go. People need to get there. Giddy up. Um, this is the map of where the meeting will be. Southern California. So this is the 5 freeway. This goes down to San Diego. And that's about, I don't know, maybe 40 miles, 45 miles at the very most. L.A., north, same thing. Um... This is Capistrano Beach. It's a very small community. I actually used to live right here. This is Dana Point Harbor. Plenty of places to eat down there. Come down, make a day of it. Places to eat right by where the meeting is. Um, beaches. There's all kinds of outlooking places. In here in Dana Point, you go down any of these streets and you can be up on the bluff there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have lots of pictures of that whole area. Anyway, please come and uh, let's, let's try to save a few million lives here. As always, God bless. Storm has dumped two feet of snow on western Massachusetts and really treated the eastern part of the state much more harshly. Yeah, western Massachusetts was spared, as Mayor Sarno had just said, power outages that crippled many communities in the Boston area. But early this morning, hurricane force winds and blizzard conditions to the east of us knocked out power to 400,000 customers from southeastern Massachusetts and Cape Cod. Even the Pilgrim nuclear power plant in Plymouth had to be shut down because the plant's in-house system had also lost power due to the storm. Snowfall totals as high as 34 inches in New Haven and Hamden, Connecticut. I've seen 38 inches listed in Milford, Connecticut. Uh, there also are four deaths being blamed on the storm, three in Canada, one in New York. In Poughkeepsie, a 74-year-old man died after being struck by a car after a driver lost control. Several car accidents are being blamed on the snow, though, including a 19-car pile up in Maine and hundreds of cars that began getting stuck on the Long Island Expressway. Yeah, and we were also mentioning about Maine that pile up um, reports of almost 30 inches in Portland, Maine. That is a lot of digging out to do there this morning. Yeah, it's happening all over. The all-time record, as we mentioned, uh, for Springfield is 1949, 22 inches. We're oh so close to that right so now. Close. So we'll see what happens as we go along throughout the day. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I said, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.